Hi everyone, my name is Patranya Poonswan and thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday afternoon, our newest episode of the education series, live stream series on Facebook that is put together by the Asian Community Development Council. We've done one of these, we're gonna make this a regular conversation as part of the Asian Community Development Council. Our mission of course is to educate and empower the Asian American community throughout Nevada. So we have offices both in Northern Nevada and Southern Nevada. So I'm here to help moderate this conversation to talk about some of the services that ACDC offers to the community. And today we're gonna to talk specifically about the health navigation services that they offer at the organization, this nonprofit that helps people coming from all different walks of life. You don't have to be Asian Americans to be served by this organization. So I'm joined by some very special guests today. They're joining us. I just want to bring them into the screen right now with me. So I have Vice Solano. She is the Director of Family Services with the Asian Community Development Council. I also have with us today Rosa Alejandre, she is the Navigator Program Manager with the Silver State Exchange. And also we have with us Thalia Cajo Solis, she is the Health Navigator with ACDC. So we're gonna hear what, what they do specifically coming up just in just a few minutes. But first, I wanna start with Vice. And Vice Solano, is she's again, is the Director of Family Services with ACDC. So Vice, talk to us a little bit about what you do at ACDC, especially when it comes to offering people health options, options when it comes to health insurance. All right. Hi, everyone. I have been with the organization for almost two years. And through the Asian Community Development Council programs, I serve the community through tax preparation service, naturalization application, voter registration, and translation service. And as a state licensed navigator, I provide health insurance and wellness assistance. Mabuhay. Sa aking mga kababayan na nanonood ngayon at nangangailangan ng tulong sa pag-file ng tax return, pag-fill out ng U.S. citizenship, pag-rehistro upang makaboto o paghanap at pag-enroll sa health insurance, nandito po ang ACDC na nagbibigay ng mga libreng programa at serbisyo para sa inyo. Nandito rin po ako at ang aking mga kasamahan para kayo ay tulungan. Thank you. Awesome. And you see there Vice talking in Tagalog as well, because one of the key things about this organization, ACDC, is that, that they offer services in multiple languages, whether it be Asian languages like Tagalog or Chinese, Vietnamese. And I also have, they have people who can come in and help with languages like Thai. So people can really get help. And this is a multi-language organization, which is really great, especially when it comes to health. Like we're talking about health insurance. That is the big topic that we're addressing today. And this is one of the, the big issues, of course, as you know, uh, what's happening right now around the world, across the country is COVID-19. So that's a big issue. That's the issue that Rosa Alejandre, you hear a lot with your organization. I'm sure um, you hear about you know, people needing health insurance because of that. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do and what your organization does as well. Thank you, Patronia. Hi, my name is Rosa Alejandre and hello everybody. Thank you for um, joining us on this webcast. Um, my, what I do at the exchange is I'm the Navigator Program Manager, and what, what the Navigator Program is, is that we provide statewide services um, for all Nevadans, uh, whether you're in the north, in rural areas, or south um, Nevada. And basically, we want to make sure that all Nevadans um, have access to health care and health insurance. And by doing, uh, in, the way that they can do that is by accessing the um, Navigators that we have. And they provide free, unbiased assist assistance um, through Nevada HealthLink, through their organizations, ACD, is one of our organizations that provides assistance. We have um, a total of eight statewide, as well as brokers and agents that are statewide um, that provide this assistance. Uh, we've been around since 2013. This will be coming up our eighth enrollment um, period already in November. And um, we just want to make sure that any Nevadan that needs insurance and qualifies that we're able to assist them to get insurance with us or um, make sure we get them connected to get insurance. 
and I'll go ahead and just explain it a little bit in Spanish. Uh, mi nombre es Rosa Alejandre. Yo soy la manejadora del programa, del programa de navegadores. Y lo que nosotros hacemos es que damos servicio al estado completo de Nevada. Eh, estamos aquí para ayudar a cualquier nevadense que no tenga seguro médico o que quizás si tenga seguro médico y tenga preguntas, no está seguro si lo que tiene es el mejor servicio para ellos. Y estamos aquí para ayudarles con eso. Eh, entre esta um, entrevista vamos a tener varias preguntas o vamos a dar más información acerca de eso también. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Petrania. Awesome. Thank you so much. And speaking about Spanish, that's one of the languages that with the Asian Community Development Council, the reason we get people who speak different languages to come and help is so that they can reach a bigger portion of our um, community, of course. And that's why we have people like Thalia, who is a health navigator. So we're going to bring her in in just a little bit. But first, let's get back to Vice right now. And Vice, you've been with ACDC for quite a while. So talk to us right now. One of the you hear you get a lot of people coming in and, and, and calling you about health when it comes to health insurance. What are the biggest concerns are you hearing from people in the public right now when it comes to health insurance? Well, because of the present pandemic climate, of course, their biggest issue is losing their health insurance coverage from their job. So that means they don't have any health insurance and that worries them. So that is the um, the basic the major problem that we we are facing today and what they need is how they will be able to enroll through the Nevada Health Link if they can be helped and that's why ACDC is here to be able to help them enroll in a qualified health plan. And, and part of it is because I think with this COVID-19, a lot of people probably have lost their jobs, right, in the last few months. And then, you know, for the first time, they're finding themselves without any health insurance. Is that right? It's like yeah. financial part, a big part of that. So talk to us a little bit about um, the process. So when people lost their health insurance with work, for example, and they want to come in and try to find different options. So what do they do? Do they call you, make an appointment? What, what's the whole process that AC and DC help with? Yes, so for the past few months, um, we have to immediately implement our virtual and remote services to support our health insurance um, enrollment needs of our community because of the pandemic. So we, they have to call us to pre-screen them for their eligibility and then at the same time, check if they're eligible for a health qualified health plan. And with right. that, we use a digital video conferencing tools such as Zoom, Google Hangout Meets, or even Facebook Messenger to name a few, just to be able to talk to them and see what they basically need, whether it, it is for their family, um, what their medical needs, as well as their budget needs. And, I, you know, when it comes to budget, I think that's kind of the big concern with a lot of people, especially if they just lost their jobs or people in their family lost their jobs. Like, will I have enough money in order to qualify to even get health insurance? So what are, what are you telling them? I mean, are there different kinds of plans that are out there that could fit different budget? Yes, there are um, plans that are available based mm -hmm. on their household size and, of course, their needs. And then we let them go through the shop and shop for the plans and even compare them with the various health insurance carriers that health, Nevada Health Link has. Yeah, that's right. And you know, I'm gonna to talk to, bring in Rosa here to talk about it because with uh, Nevada um, Health Link, this marketplace. So talk to us, for, you know, there may be people who just moved into Nevada not too long ago and they're just moving here because they've lost their job in another state. Now they're a new resident here in Nevada. They don't have a job yet. They don't have health insurance, but they want to get health insurance. So give us a little bit of background on Nevada Health Link. What is this all about? What is this marketplace and who is eligible? Oh, and turn on your mic for us too. I'm so used to going on mute. <laughs> no worries. No thank worries. you, Petrania. Yeah. And thank you for the question. So it's basically just to make sure that everybody understands uh, who we are. Silver State Health Insurance Exchange is a state-based agency. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the official ex marketplace here for the Affordable Care Act here in the state of Nevada. Um, we run the uh, online platform called Nevada Health Link. And on that platform, our consumers can go and shop for um, either qualified health or dental plans. And what we want to make sure is that anyone that is new, or even if you're not new, 
if you don't know about Nevada Health Link, we are a state agency. We're not a private insurance company or anything of that sort. What we do is that we have three carriers, which are HPN, um, Anthem, and Silver Summit. They offer 27 plans, um, health plans, and then we also have six dental plans. We have them all on our platform. Anybody that comes to our platform and shops and compares a plan can go ahead and see what it would cost them, and they can even shop and compare with subsidy or without subsidy. It will be completely up to the consumer. Hmm. All of our plans are um, based on your household and income size, so they are definitely affordable. Most of our enrollees, about 80% of our enrollees get some sort of um, tax credit, whether it's advanced premium tax credit um, through the IRS, or if they may get also some uh, additional subsidies called cost share reductions. And so that's basically what we do. We just want to make sure that anyone that is here and is qualified qualified to get um, health insurance with us, um, that we're able to go ahead and assist them. And also one of the reasons that I keep saying qualified, it's because there is some requirements, obviously, um, in order for you to go ahead and access us. And I'll go ahead and mention the top three, which is either you must be a US citizen, lawful presence, or a national. That's the one. Um, you can't be incarcerated. And you must be a resident of the state of Nevada and live physically in the United States. So those are the top three that um, are the main qualifiers. And then the rest is just an application. Every application is unique to each uh, consumer. So there's not one consumer that will have the same premium as another um, just because they live in Clark County. Everything is based um, dependent on that household and income. Yeah, and you know, one of the big questions I have is, um, you know, for people probably coming in is uh, with the whole COVID-19, I think some new regulations are coming out, right, to help people because I think people either want to get tested for it or they feel like they've gotten sick, how they can get health care. So what have you been hearing in terms of concerns and what do you want, what information do you want to get out there? Well, we want to make sure everybody understands that any plan with Nevada Health Link, mm -hmm. um, they cover the 10 essential health benefits, and one of them would be to cover any type of um, COVID-19 testing. So if you have a health plan, don't worry, you're covered, you can go get tested, um, and it will be covered under your health plan for free, for sure. Um, so that's the one main thing. And another thing, just um, for those that uh, may not know, because it did just come out, um, through the Department of Health and Human Services, um, early July, they just released that also, for anyone that is not insured, um, as long as they are a Nevada resident and a US citizen, they can go and get um, COVID-19 testing for free. They will cover for the testing and you can go ahead and also reach them at um, accessnevada.dwss.nv.gov if you're interested in that. Um, but again, anyone that's covered with any of our plans through Nevada Health Link is also covered for um, any COVID testing as well. Okay. Yeah, that is good to know. And I know Nevada Health Link and the Silver State Exchange work closely with the Asian Community Development Council, which offer free services when it comes to helping people get registered for health insurance. So I'm going to bring um, Vice Solano into the conversation here again. And Vice, again, is the Director of Family Services at ACDC. And Vice, you, you may be able to answer a question that we just got in from one of the uh, people watching us on Facebook here. Uh, it said that this person is asking a family member recently lost his health insurance coverage because of getting furloughed can he still enroll in um the nevada health link and he lost his coverage in march and this probably has something to do with special enrollment period and normal enrollment period right so do you want to kind of explain that a little bit well you will be able to enroll for a health insurance um actually up to 60 days after the loss of coverage or up to 60 days before the loss of coverage. We mm -hmm. just need to determine when the when um, the client lost the coverage and from mm -hmm. there he may be eligible for a qualified health plan. So is that a considered like special major life event, right, in order to enroll in this because they lost their job or I, mean, I guess furloughed is, um, you know, their different classification, whether that person might be able to get their job back and they're not, you know, maybe not terminated. You know, are there different questions that you get about that, whether or not they qualify and if, can they get those answers when they come to you guys for help? 
Yes, we will screen their eligibility and one of the questions we will ask too is, of course, um, knowing that the client is um, lost the coverage to employer, then mm -hmm. at least that's one of the determinants of the eligibility process too. Okay. And Rosa, do you want to touch on that question a little bit too? Have you had people, you know, whether they get furloughed or terminated, um, what can they do when it comes to health insurance? Yes, and, and actually to um, answer the person directly, if they lost their coverage in March, they do have 60 days. So if we're just going to go, let's say the 30th of March, um, they had till May 30th. So April and May 30th, unfortunately at this time, if, if that is the actual date, they wouldn't qualify for special enrollment period. And that's why it's so important um, for our communities to do things like this, to make sure we educate the um, community because then we'll have someone like this that's out of coverage until open enrollment, which will be in November. And we actually won't get coverage until January for the plan year of 2021, um, unless they, face another qualifying life event. So a qualifying life event would be someone that loses their health coverage. Uh, you recently got uh, married and now you need health coverage. Um, you moved to the new state and now you need health coverage. Um, you had a baby, uh, things of that nature. Those are called qualifying life events. And um, for that, it's called a special enrollment period. Special enrollment periods run all year long, whether there's open enrollment or not, special enrollment periods run all year. And that's why we provide this program. It runs all year long so that consumers have a place to go or call so that um, they can answer those questions that they have for them. Um, but if this person that lost their coverage in March, if they reach out to ACDC, they'll screen them, make sure and see if there's maybe something else that they can help them with, uh, perhaps another QLE, or if they may have applied in March and something might have happened with the application to see if there's something we can do. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. So I want to take a little break here to welcome and say hello to all of you who are just joining us on our Facebook Live. Again, this is part of um, the service that we want to give to the community throughout Nevada or throughout the country, whoever's watching this right now. But Asian Community Development Council is a nonprofit that's been working here to help educate and empower the Asian American community here in the Las Vegas Valley. But when it comes to providing services like health insurance, of course, we're not going to say no to everybody, to anybody. Um, they're going to welcome everybody in and um, to help when they can. And I want to bring uh, Thalia uh, Cajo Solis into the conversation right now. So Thalia is actually um, a health navigator with ACDC. So talk to us a little bit, Thalia, about what you guys do as health navigators. You go out normally in a normal course of events. You go out to the community and help educate them about what services ACDC does, right? Yes. Hi, um, my name is Thalia, and I, I, I'm actually one of those Spanish, the Spanish speakers at ACDC. So that's one of the things that I do here. I assist my Latino community and Spanish speakers. Um, for anyone that doesn't know any English, we do that as well. Um, so one of our responsibilities as health navigators, not only is to educate our clients, but also do outreach. And, and that way reach out to the community and find um, the people that are not enrolled. That way we can um, connect more and enroll more people. And talk to me about the experience. I mean, you've been with um, ACDC quite a few months now. Talk to us about that experience going out there and meeting the people and maybe meeting the people for the first time who've never had health insurance and actually getting the help. I mean, what was their reaction just knowing that they can qualify for health insurance? Um, actually, that's a really good question. I've been working for ACDC for about a year already. Mm. Um, this is my first um, exposure to the nonprofit um, mm -hmm. environment. Yeah. So it's been a really good um, feeling to reach out to the community, um, interacting with the people, with our people, um, assisting them and helping them understand the importance of health insurance. And not only that, but also walking through with them um, and describing all the terms and um, explaining everything in detail. That way they feel um, at peace and at ease that they made the right choice or that they are now insured or um, they just feel more uh, secure right whenever they are enroll in a qualified plan. And especially having someone like you who can speak Spanish, do you think that really comes into play in helping a lot of these families? Because this language come up, play a big part in them not really maybe understanding what they're qualifying for and what they need and that kind of thing? 
Yes, um, not only me speaking Spanish, but I've, always, I've also seen our my team. Mm -hmm. um, everybody speaks um, Tagalog, Vietnamese, um, or Visayan. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, mm -hmm. but yeah, people seeing that we speak their language opens a window of trust. So that really helps to relate to them, to communicate with them and to help them throughout the whole entire process. Okay, so let's bring Vice in, because Vice, you work closely with the LIA and the rest of the team. So talk to us about the importance of having a nonprofit like ACDC, especially in this community where it's so diverse. We have people coming in from across the country and around the world. And a lot of times, you know, health insurance is such a complicated issue for so many families, right? They need the information and you guys are there to help get this kind of information out there. Yes. So as part of the Asian Community Development Council's mission, to educate, empower, and connect the AAPI community and, of course, other communities here in Nevada to healthcare resources, the Health Navigator aims to eliminate these barriers, preventing uninsured and underinsured individuals and their families from accessing healthcare. So, with the Health Navigator program, it provides us with assistance for health insurance insurance eligibility screening, enrollment, and information on how to purchase the health insurance plans offered through the online marketplace, Nevada Health Link. Mm -hmm. And our services are completely free and offered in Tagalog, Vietnamese, and Spanish. And our health navigators also, with our, our team alone, we mm -hmm. have uh, we are bilingual who speak, as Talia mentioned, Tagalog, Vietnamese, Visayan, which is a dialect in the Philippines, Spanish, and if anyone needs other language assistance like Mandarin or Thai, Korean, and Japanese, we can arrange some of our staff to provide these translation services. And you've helped quite a few people now just since the beginning of the year, right? People who've come through ACDC and helped them get insurance through through this program. Yes. We in the for the period um, beginning July of 2019 until um, this month, we assisted a very diverse um, clientele and we were able to help them enroll in um, an insurance plan. Yeah. And so, Rosa, talk to me a little bit about this relationship, this really great relationship Nevada Health Link Silver State Exchange has with an organization like ACDC. How do you guys work together in order to serve as many people in the community as possible? So one of the ways we work together is that, like I mentioned earlier, this is a year long program. Um, so every year we, we put out what's called an RFA for um, entities to go ahead and be partners with us. And we do that for the whole year. And by doing that, yeah, that allows us to also penetrate into the communities that we know are looking for health insurance. And perhaps they may not come to our website um, directly. And since we don't have per se an actual office to have people come in and roll. That's why we set up this partnership with other um, agencies. The majority of them are nonprofit agencies, but like I said, they're um, statewide. And I know ACDC is mainly Southern, um, they have the grant for the Southern Nevada, but they will assist anybody that calls them over the phone, I'm sure, um, that needs any assistance for them. They, they, I have never heard of them turning away anybody. But that's what's so great with this partnership is that they are really in that community. Um, their office is actually right there in um, off of Spring Mountain in Shanghai Plaza. Shanghai Plaza, yeah. Yeah, so they're in a really great location to really meet that niche um, demographic for us and the fact that they speak the language and if they have that trust already there, that's what we look for when we do partnerships with our navigator grantees and our other in-person assistor grantees as well. We want to make sure that they're in the community and that they can help us get the word out for everybody um, so that they know where they can go and get assistance. So and the best of all, Petronia, I wanted to say the best of all is that it's free. Yeah, free free is always good, right? So yeah. yeah, so if you're just joining us, 
looking for free help when it comes to looking for health insurance, whether you qualify for health insurance, especially a lot of people right now are very concerned, of course, with COVID-19, getting treated, um, getting tested. So this is why we're hitting on this issue of health insurance. And we actually just got another, just want to remind you, if you're watching this Facebook Live right now, you have any comments or questions, definitely put it down below because our panelists are going to be answering these questions live for you. So don't miss this opportunity to be getting your answers answered live right now on Facebook. And we just got another uh, question in from someone who said that I have health insurance through covered California and planning to move to Las Vegas with my partner. Can I apply during an open, open or special enrollment period? So Vice, I'm going to bring you in the conversation. Can you touch on this a little bit? Someone coming in from California and they say, can they, can they apply right now for health insurance? Okay, so similarly, in terms of eligibility, we have to identify when um, he will move from California mm -hmm. to Nevada. And from there, it will take, um, it's again, 60 days before moving and 60 days after moving. And then he should be have at least a Nevada resident mm -hmm. and resident address. And then from there, we will be able to help them. Yeah, so definitely think about when you're moving, you know, how long between insurance, like you have your insurance coverage, right? So you need all that information before reaching out to you. And and Vice, if people don't know where ACDC is located, I know we have offices both in Northern Nevada and also Southern Nevada, but they can reach and call you anytime, right? Because right now the office is open, but of course we're keeping that guideline when it comes to social distancing. Yes, so we are in the heart of Chinatown, which is at Shanghai Plaza, mm -hmm. and we are located at the second floor. And for any appointment that you would like to have with us, you can just call us at 702-489-8866 or at 702-782-7782. And also you can email us for at healthcare at acdcnv.org for any appointments. Yeah, and talk to us about um, the challenges you guys have faced, because I can imagine the office probably had to be closed for some time, right, because of COVID-19. But now that you're back open, how are you um, making the efforts to reach people, even though maybe not as many people can come to the offices? Well, so for the um, past few months, we quickly transitioned our remote services online. And it is through the video conferencing tools such as Zoom or even Facebook Messenger that we managed to assist our clients. And as much as possible, we also do, um, we share our SEP, even flyers to our social networks just to be able to reach out to our community. Yeah, and I think I wanna bring Rosa in here. Um, I know that you guys have been doing efforts as well and you're putting flyers out, different banners, right? You wanna show people some of the things that you're doing to kind of get the word out to different communities about your services. Most definitely. Um, and one of the things if consumers aren't aware, they can definitely reach us at our um, call center and they're open Monday through Friday. Um, so if they wanna give us a call, they definitely can. And they can also ask to speak with um, a navigator or they can call direct, they can look on our website and look up BCDC as well. But our call center number is 1-800-547-2927 or uh, 711 for TTY. Um, our website is nevadahealthlink.com and you can look, uh, if you look at, um, in-person assistance, you can also find ACDC on our website as well, their phone number as well as their address. Yeah, and do you have any kind of flyers? Are you putting stuff out right now in different languages for people to, to get information? Actually, we do. Right now, we have what's called our resource guide. These come in English and Spanish. Um, tomorrow, we will be getting some in AAPI languages. Um, so I should be getting some as well as one of our other agencies. Um, and these resource guides that we have out here, we have them on our website as well as in many of our locations, our partner agencies. Um, ACDC also partners with several other agencies, and they drop off this literature there. Um, this resource guides pretty much list anything and everything that you need in order to get um, information for health insurance. It tells you um, the things that you need to bring in, as well as your essential health benefits, any of uh, the benefits that are covered through all of our plans. And it also lists all of our navigator grantees. Like I said, this comes both in English and Spanish. 
So this is one of our literatures that we have out there, as well as this one. This is called our special enrollment um, period rack card. And this just lets consumers know, like if you're moving, you just got married, give us a call. Again, our phone number's plastered all over at 1-800-547-2927. And so we just wanna make sure that consumers know how to get a hold of us, or at least they know where they can uh, get a hold of us. We offer services in many languages. Um, so if you just, if you can't, if you don't know English very well or Spanish, any other language, we have a language line. Give us a call um, or send us an email as well, and we'll be able to help you. We also have um, our social media channels with uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We will be more than happy to assist you any which way we can. Yeah, and we're definitely getting questions in, not just in English, but also we have a question in Vietnamese. So we're waiting for someone to translate that in one of the <laughs> Facebook comments coming in. I don't think Rosa can help with this one. Rosa can help with Spanish, but not Vietnamese. So if someone wants to translate that, we definitely want to help this person who has a question in for us. Now, talk about Spanish. I know there are probably Spanish-speaking people who are listening right now. So I kind of want to open the floor for Thalia to come into the conversation. And Thalia, I know you speak Spanish to people in the community. Um, do you want to ask some of the questions that you have that people might have for Rosa and ask them in Spanish and then we'll kind of open the conversation that way. Yeah, of course. Um, so as I mentioned before, one of our responsibilities is outreach. And when before COVID-19, now we're doing a things a little different. Mm. Um, we will go out to ESL classes and uh, present to the students and just inform them about health insurance. Um, my responsibility was mainly reaching out to my Latino community. Mm -hmm. um, so I have three questions for Rosa that are the most, the, the questions that I get the most often. Um, and um, I'll ask them in Spanish. Uh, yeah. One of them is, uh, Necesita uno ser ciudadano de los Estados Unidos para poder inscribirse en un plan de salud uh, calificado. Bueno, los requisitos que necesitan para que uno se pueda registrar con nosotros es ser ciudadano de los Estados Unidos o ser residente um, de los Estados Unidos o un nacional. So, si vamos a decir que una persona no es ciudadano pero tiene su este, residencia, eso está bien. O si una persona tiene una visa pero está aquí con uh, presencia legal, eso también. So, eso son, no necesariamente tiene que ser solamente ciudadano, nada más con que mire, uh, con que califique con los estatus migratorios, con eso le podemos ayudar. Um, otra pregunta es que me imagino que mucha, mucha gente tiene este, este problema es si que alguien no sabe qué significa un crédito tributario o qué significa un deducible, um, ¿habrá ayuda para definir todos esos uh, términos? Sí, claro que sí. Es más, en nuestra página lo puedes este, trasladar a español y allí te puede decir que es. Pero un crédito tributario lo que es, es lo de el crédito de las rentas internas, que viene siendo del IRS. So, ese es un crédito dependiendo de tu, este, de tu este, um, aplicación y también dependiendo de tus este, impuestos. So, cuando tú vas a hacer tu aplicación, te va a preguntar muchas preguntas personales. Y te digo de eso de una vez porque a veces la gente va a decir, oh, yo no sabía que me iba a preguntar esto o lo otro. No, es muy personal porque tenemos que saber si le pueden aplicar esos créditos tributarios o créditos federales. Se le puede decir de cualquier manera, pero este, um, sí, sí tenemos maneras de poder traducirlo en nuestro sistema. Ahí lo tenemos. O si uno va con nuestros agentes o navegadores, también le pueden decir lo que es la diferencia de eso. Un deducible, también le, puede decir, le podemos decir que es un deducible. Um, pero más bien lo que es el deducible es lo que una persona tiene que pagar antes de que el seguro médico vaya a pagar su parte. Okay. Y mi última pregunta es, ¿qué necesita uno para inscribirse hoy? ¿Y cuáles son las diferencias entre el periodo de inscripción especial al que estamos ahorita? y el periodo de inscripción abierta. Bueno, el periodo de inscripción abierta nada más ocurre entre noviembre primero al 15 de diciembre cada año. Este, esa es una ley que ya pusimos nosotros uh, por parte también del Departamento de Seguro de Nevada. So, este, eso ocurre de nuevo, primero de noviembre al 15 de diciembre y entonces va a empezar tu seguro médico para el día primero de enero del próximo año. OK, so ese es el periodo de inscripción abierta regular. Ahora, el periodo de inscripción um, especial, eso puede pasar en cualquier momento. 
por ejemplo, si alguien pierde su cobertura médica porque ya no tienes trabajo o le cortaron los, las horas y ya no califican para el, la cobertura de su trabajo. Entonces, esa persona puede aplicar para uh, el seguro con nosotros y tienen 60 días del día que pase ese evento. Si una persona sabe que va a perder su seguro médico, por ejemplo, estás trabajando en un lugar y ellos dicen, ¿sabes qué? Vamos a decir, pues, precisamente por la situación de COVID-19 ahorita. Vamos a cerrar las oficinas en dos meses. Ellos están diciendo ya 60 días antes. Tú puedes empezar a buscar médico, servicios médicos con nosotros desde 60 días antes o 60 días después. Pero es muy importante que la gente sepa que los 60 días cuentan los fines de semana, cuentan los días festivos. So, no es nada más entre lunes a viernes. Cuentan exactamente 60 días um, este calendarios del día del evento que tú ya pierdes tu seguro médico. El periodo de especial puede pasar en cualquier momento. Podemos estar entre noviembre y diciembre y también te pase esa, esa situación. Tú puedes aplicar por un periodo especial. Eso pasa en cualquier momento y está abierto todo el año. Es nada más que si tú calificas por ese evento. Okay. Uh, muchas gracias, Rosa. Y those are all my questions for today. Thank you. Awesome. Gracias, Talia. Great. Thank you so much for that. I know there are people probably speaking Spanish out there who really need that information. And again, just want to remind you people who are tuning in right now, hearing us talking in Spanish and Tagalog and English, we want to appeal to, of course, a wide variety of people who are listening in, including people who speak Vietnamese. And we actually just got a translation for one of the questions that was asked in Vietnamese. And we just got um, a uh, translation here uh, they're asking, and I'm going to get Vice to answer this, and maybe Vice, you can answer in both English and Tagalog, maybe for this question. They're asking, given the current situation, how do they make sure that um, the drug COVID tests and treatments are covered under health insurance? So I think you're going to probably been getting questions like this when it comes to coronavirus and COVID-19. Will treatment be covered if they get health insurance or will testing be covered? What do you know about this right now? Well, actually, as explained by Rosa a while ago, the mm -hmm. COVID testing, it will be available if you have health insurance. If the treatments are not covered, but Rosa can verify that information too. So, sa mga merong who, kung kailangan nyo mag, mag COVID testing, um, as long as mayroon kayong health insurance sa marketplace, ito ay covered. Um, ang treatment ay hindi, pero ang testing ay makukover ng ating health insurance. Okay, Rosa, do you want to touch on that? Yes, if I could, Petrania. Um, and just to make sure that I clarify, so if you have a health plan through Nevada Health Link, testing and treatments, those are all completely covered. Mm -hmm. If you do not have health insurance, but you are a U.S. citizen and a Nevada resident, um, through the Department of Health and Human Services, they just released on July 2nd that Medicaid is providing um, testing for COVID under the Families First Coronas Relief Act. So they can get tested for free, because I understand, I believe the test costs about $175. So if you didn't have health insurance, so that testing part will be covered for free, but the treatment will not. That is just to make sure if you are, um, if you're, if you're actually positive or not, because it will help us to identify those people. But that is separate for those that are uninsured. If you are covered to Nevada Health Link, you will be covered completely. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Rosa. So I'm sure people, you know, um, you guys will be getting a lot of questions when we come into COVID-19 and coronavirus, especially when it comes to what people are dealing with right now. So first, uh, it's 6.08 right now. Just wanted to welcome for you, whoever is just stopping by here on our Facebook page of the Asian Community Development Council, that I'm here with some very special guests on our education live stream series. This is a focus um, on health insurance today. So we're getting lots of questions for people coming in about their eligibility, especially here in the state of Nevada. We're talking with Vice Solano. She is the Director of Family Services over the ACBC or Asian Community Development Council. Also, Rosa Alejandra is here with us and she's with the Silver State Exchange. Nevada Health Link. She can talk about what the state is offering in terms of health care. And also Thalia Cajo Solis. She's part of ACDC as well. And she's a health navigator offering help to people who speak Spanish in this community. So some great people sharing valuable information when it comes to health insurance in this community. And actually, we're getting another question right now from 
Pam Havelaine Fletcher, and she's asking um, for those who have a pre existing condition, can the marketplace still accept us and allow us to enroll? Are they going to reject us or possibly to pay higher monthly payment because of the pre existing condition or because of the illness? So, um, Vice or Rosa, what do you want to take on this? Rosa, do you want to take it on? Sure. Um, well, because since the ACA went into effect, um, pre-existing won't matter. So mm -hmm. if you come on to um, Nevada Health Link, we don't care whether you have pre-existing condition, um, any illnesses, that does not affect your premium. I just want to make sure that they understand that. Your premium is based upon the plan you choose, and it's also based upon your household size and your income. Every application is unique to that individual or that consumer. So your premium is not based on um, any type of illness or any type of drug or anything of that. It is solely based on the plan you're going to pick, uh, your household size, and your income. So please, whenever you're ready, give us a call and, and uh, we'll be more than happy to see what we can do for you. And I'm sure that question is something that you, Vice, hear a lot, right? People coming in, especially if they have people in their family who are older or someone with pre-existing conditions or illnesses. What what do you tell them? What is kind of the common answers that you give to people? Well, you will not be denied coverage because you have a pre-existing condition. In fact, um, just recently we had a client who who lost um, health insurance through Medicaid, and she has um, breast cancer. But we will still able to find an affordable plan for her through the Nevada Health Link. Yeah, and we have another question coming in that I think, Vice, you might be able to answer here. Um, because of COVID, uh, this person is afraid to come into the office and get help. Can they get help on the phone and get insurance that way? Or, or do they have to come into the office and talk to you guys in person? No, we we can definitely help them. So we have transitioned our services online and through Facebook Messenger or Google Hangouts, even soon we will be able to help them, even as simple as the phone. Our health navigators are ready and uh, have quickly adapted to this new online service delivery format. So again, we will be able to support our clients um, with this platform. So talk to us, and especially since we're talking about COVID and people kind of afraid to go into a common space. And I know ACDC has taken that precaution, the steps in order to make that office as safe as possible. So explain to us what you've done at the office to make sure that it's safe for people to come in. So for, for those who are intending to go to our, our office, of course, we have um, we have our COVID-19, I mean, the, from the CDC guidelines in place, and we make sure that we have protect, we have protection like uh, face masks, gloves, even um, the clear barriers for between the client and the uh, health navigator. And at the same time, it's um, by appointment, so we make sure that when you come into the office, it will just be you and the health navigator inside the office. That's right. And let's bring Rosa into because I'm sure this is something that you, um, you know, people with COVID-19 concerns, have you been getting more interest and more people applying for health insurance in recent months or in the last year? What are kind of the stats that you're seeing out there when it comes to people who are moving from being uninsured or underinsured into getting health coverage here in Nevada? Well, we have seen that an increase in consumers, especially because of COVID. It's unfortunate that it took this event, um, but consumers are actually seeing that this is a, an invisible enemy. Uh, it, it's it's not something that they can say, oh, this person looks sick. I mean, there's people that don't have any symptoms and they're carrying and they can be spreading it around. So I think with knowing that more consumers are now aware and are trying to protect themselves because um, you know, someone can pass away from this. This, this can be fatal. Um, you know, most people are recovering, but you could be one of those cases where it could be a, a fatal situation. And it can be very quickly. Um, I, I, I know someone that passed away from this within a week. And it was, I mean, I saw him 
prior mm -hmm. to and he was healthy and young and i i was just surprised and uh and then when we heard that he had passed away i just i was i was in shock so um just knowing that this thing is out there we have seen a a growing concern from consumers that they understand this is out there let's get covered because in the past i think they felt well I try and stay safe, I try and stay healthy, and and which is great, but this thing doesn't matter. As well as any illness, let's say cancer. Cancer doesn't pick you by your gender. You know, it, it's, it, it just, it so happens sometimes, and um, you may get it, you may not, it may run in your family, it may not, and that can be very costly illness, and you just don't wanna be without health insurance. The main thing that we want consumers to know is that health insurance, you want to have it before the illness that's how it works it's not now i'm sick now i need it at that point it's a little too late because and it's not because you're pre-existing but it's because of the fact that um you want to get it before that's why we uh, with the aca one of the essential health benefits is providing preventative screening so you want to make sure you're getting your checkups and getting screened prior to because you may be able to catch something in advance before it gets to something where it's a chronic situation. And one of the stories I've been hearing, I think that's really concerning and people don't think about is, you know, when you think life and death with COVID. But if you do survive, even if you do go through that treatment, it can cost a lot of money. It can be very, very expensive. Right. So especially if you don't have health insurance. So people don't think about how much it's going to cost financially dealing with something like this. Most definitely. So that, that's the one thing that you want to make sure when you're looking at a plan, I, I can understand a budget is the principal thing, right? But you also want to look at what is it going to cost you in the long run? Mm -hmm. And that's why we want you to sit down with one of our navigators because they can help you and, and let you know. You want to look at the premium, you want to look at the co-payment, the deductible, what's your maximum out of pocket. These are things that we can help you decipher so that to make sure you make the best choice for yourself and that should something happen to you that you know you're covered okay and um again if you're just joining us we have about maybe 15 minutes left on this facebook live so if you're just joining us you have any questions you want to ask any of our panelists who are here right now definitely put it under your comment below uh like and share this page if you feel your friends or family could get some useful information from this series so i want to bring in um vice again and vice uh, is the family Sur director of family services at acdc to talk a little bit about information just basic information people need right now if they want to come in get health insurance what kind of paperwork what do they need to prepare in order before they even call you to make an appointment to come in and see you okay so the things that you need to um enroll are you need to have a nevada driver's license mm -hmm. um if you are a an lpr you have um need to have your permanent resident card if it's applicable of course and then social security cards uh, of course you have to bring it in with um for you and also your household mm -hmm. and uh, proof of Nevada residence, for example, uh, a phone bill or an uh, electric bill and estimate your household income for the year also. And if you have um, a copy of your tax return or any of your um, recent pay stubs, kindly bring it in with us. And if again, for example, you lost your health insurance coverage from your employer, then therefore kindly um, provide us with a copy of your um, the termina termination letter of that health coverage from your employer. Okay, yeah, no, great information. And again, we want to talk about how just the diverse, I mean, just even seeing the comments of people writing into um, our comments down here, we have in Vietnamese and English and Spanish. And Athalia, I want to ask you just a quick question here, because you've been um, a health navigator with ACDC, you said for about a year now, right? So you've been going out to the community, um, reaching out to people in different communities. Are they seeing, are you seeing different issues, especially when it comes to the Latino community, or maybe different communities when it comes to health or is it just kind of a universal issue when it comes to health insurance that they all just need health insurance or are there are specific issues that targeted mainly you know latina community that you're used to working with um i wouldn't say specific but maybe it is um specific to latinos but from my experience, the main concerns have been, like the question that mm. I asked Rosa earlier, um, do you have to mm. be a US citizen? Um, another issue um, is the lack of knowledge about all the terminology, about the importance of health insurance, 
about why you need health insurance, um, why it's so important to be safe and be sorry. Um, so from my experience, those have been the two main concerns from the people and also concern on my side because we want people to be aware. We want people to know they have options to be covered. They they don't have to um, just wait, like Rosa said, wait till they're in the hospital. They can they can um, plan it before and they can be safe before it, hopefully nothing happens to anyone, but yeah. And I think as a health navigator, you more than just giving information, right? Because you go through this as your personal experience. You talk about maybe what your friends or family have gone through. And I think they relate to maybe what you've gone through. Do you think that helps in terms of building that personal relationship to go out into the people community? Yes, definitely. That helps. Um, I also, we as our team likes to um, get a little personal that way they can know that we understand um, what all, all these issues that we as minorities go through. So for example, me, um, a few years ago, I discovered I'm allergic to shellfish. Oh. Um, I didn't know that and I was covered, but if I ended up in the hospital. Um, but if I wasn't covered, I would be paying off a bill even till now if I didn't have the health insurance. So we like to throw uh, personal stories so they can understand, they can relate to us. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and I think having, yeah. That it is important to be covered. And having young people, I think like Thalia as well, to to talk to people, because a lot of young people, I would imagine, feel like, hey, I don't need this yet. I don't need to pay for this because I'm still young. But now we're seeing, especially with COVID-19, young people can get infected and, and, and they can, you know, suffer really serious consequences as well, right? Yes, yes. Um, it does help that I, I am young. We are young. All of us are. Um, so it does. There, there's. Um, we make relationships mm -hmm. through our us being minority groups and also our age range as well. Definitely, the diversity really plays a part here. And Rosa, I just kind of want to get you to maybe close off the conversation on your end. Anything else we haven't touched on that you want to let people know about Nevada Health Link, what you guys do, what people need to know, just moving forward now for the rest of 2020. Um, just to let people know that we're, we are here all year round and should anyone need any assistance if they lose their coverage, their health coverage, or they're just not sure what to do um, with the health coverage that they have right now and they're not sure if it meets the minimum essential coverage standards, give us a call at 1-800-547-2927. That's our call center. Um, or you can get a hold of directly through ACDC, which I'm really grateful that they're doing these type of events. Um, due to COVID, we have been moved more to the remote event. Events. So we'll be seeing this more in the future um, because of the current situation. And as you know, I mean, we're, we're all here in Nevada. Um, we haven't moved our phase. We're, we're still in phase two. There's now the new governor mandate about wearing face coverings and what have you. So we think this may be here for a while. And let's just make sure that we are protected and safe. And if you don't have health insurance, um, give us a call. Give ACDC a call. Uh, find out if you can get health insurance right now. If you meet one of the qualifying life events. We'll be more than happy to pre-screen you and make sure to see how we can get you covered. Okay. And uh, Vice, we're going to end with you here since you are the ones facing people every day. Uh, Asian Community Development Council, you guys are open now six days a week, right? Getting people in if they have any information when it comes to their health insurance. Yes, actually we are open seven days. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. So seven days a week, people can get help. They can call and, and try to get an appointment with you guys, right? Yes, that is correct. And yeah. you can set up an appointment to speak to one of our navigators by calling us at 702-7782. I mean, 702-782-7782 or emailing us at healthcare at acdcnd.org. Anything else you want to say out there and let people know? Um, uh, any lasting words or any kind of information that uh, that you think would be important for people to to know about health insurance? Yes. So um, with ACDC, uh, our as a Silver State Health Insurance Exchange Navigator entity, um, we provide health insurance involvement. I know health insurance can be very intimidating. There are terms that are very confusing, but we have health navigators who will be able to help you in any language. So ACDC actually um, has is composed of different 
culture and nationalities and with the health navigator team we speak by we are we speak tagalog or vietnamese spanish and the science if you and if you need any other language assistance like mandarin or thai even korean then we would be able to arrange this for you um, to provide translation services and right. um, yeah and then of course having health insurance uh, ensures that you are um, having that peace of mind that you are also covered and we are very much here to help you Oh, okay. Um, and talking about Tagalog, we actually have, is, oh. I think, is that Tagalog? So can you read that for us, Vice? We have a um, question. Okay, so Yuan Hernandez asked, wala namang penalty kung wala ka health insurance as sa mga healthy naman at walang sakit, gaano ka importante ang health insurance? So he's asking that will there be any penalty if you don't have any health insurance? Mm -hmm. uh, even though at sa mga healthy naman at walang sakit if you don't have if you are healthy and and you are don't ha, you don't you are not sick mm -hmm. so actually there's no penalty um if you don't have health insurance and in, the importance of health insurance so firstly i'll answer this in english um you know sickness and accidents happen there are um unexpected chronic illnesses or diagnosis that require visits to the doctor and of course having monthly prescriptions and if you are in uninsured this is very co costly and i experienced this myself when my husband diagnosed with stage 3 cancer it was very unexpected because he was very active and healthy but good thing he has health insurance because he had to go undergo chemotherapy treatment and surgery and if he did not have health insurance coverage it would have led to astronomical medical bills and we will be drowning in debt so during this time i was also not working so imagine the anxiety and worry that i experienced mm -hmm. however knowing that he we have health insurance and cover this provides us a peace of mind and really focus more on his healing um, and in Tagalog, ang mga aksidente sa ating mga kababayan, na aksidente ay maaring mangyari kanino man. Kahit ikaw ay walang sakit o healthy, may mga hindi tayo inaasahang sakit o diagnosis na nangangailangan ng mga pagbisita sa doktor or mga buwa ng reseta. So ito ay maaring maka, makagast, maka, lalong makagasto sa atin, magbigay ng gastos, na kung ikaw ay walang insurance at Pero gayun pa man, kung ikaw ay merong health insurance para sa sarili o pamilya, ito ay nagbibigay ng kapayapaan at makatutulong sa ating mabilisang pagaling. Thank okay. You. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, and then we have actually another question. This came in, in Vietnamese, but they actually translated it for us. Um, it's asking if um, the, uh, health insurance here in the state cover people with coronavirus and to what extent? Um, I might want to bring Rosa in to, to answer this question. If you've already been diagnosed with coronavirus, COVID-19, will this cover? How, I think we maybe we touched on that a little bit already, right? So our plans don't matter whether you have pre-existing condition or not. Um, the thing is, if you get health insurance April 1st, it's going to mm -hmm. cover you from April 1st forward. If you have bills from past April, uh, let's say March, January, and February, that's when you got tested for Corona, that it will not cover. It's going to cover you from when you are effective of that month going forward, regardless if you have a pre-existing condition and coronavirus would be one. Got it. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we're coming to the end here. I just wanted to thank all of our guests again who are joining us on this Facebook Live. Again, we have Vice Solano, who is the Director of Family Services with ACDC, Rosa Alejandre joining us from the Silver State Health Exchange, and also Palia. Cajo Solis. She's also with AZC, one of the health navigators, Spanish speaking health navigators. So again, for all the questions that we have today, thank you so much for all of this. If you want more information, we're going to have our team uh, put more information, all the contact information for ADC, ACDC for Rosa as well. So if you need more information, it'll be on the comments below. And thank you so much for watching us on our Facebook Live today on the topic of health insurance. Definitely continue to share and post this uh, this 
link so that more people can get the information. So thank you everybody for joining us today on this conversation. So great to seeing all of you and we'll see you next time on the next live stream on Facebook. Goodbye. Have a great day. Have a great night, everyone.